Hello, hello. There we are. Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Happy Thursday. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yes, I just hit myself in the side of the head with my mandolin. It felt wonderful. Not. Let's see. Oh, I got to get that off the screen. What? Mm -hmm. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> Buddy, dude, you got to lay down. Lay down. Lay down, buddy. All right, I'm scrolling up to the top of my chat, and I see Lily is here. Desert Adventures in Arizona is here. Alan is here. Hello. Thanks for being here. Lily was dancing during that music. <laughs> um, Lily says, I gave Pippi a bath for the first time and she loved it. That's awesome. <laughs> my Cocker Spaniel loves a bath. All my other dogs, I've had to like drag in there and put them in the tub. My Cocker Spaniel, he's 14 and blind, but he's still, if you say the B-A-T-H word, he'll go right to the bathroom and, and he'll get in. <laughs> To the tub. Let's see. Up oh, the up, and that's where the look was playing. The look was going on. There's Sandra with Hawkins Family Adventures. Hello. Thanks for being here. We got music emojis going on. She Devil Adventures. Hello. Thanks for being here. We got ones and chats, so y'all can hear me. I should have checked that first. Let's see here. All right. Well, I'm going to get... Wow, I did it again. I've hit myself in the face twice with this mandolin. Where's my water? I had a water. Did you take my water? He's serving coffee, if you hear that. Where in the heck did my water go? I seriously had a water, and it was sitting right there. Thank you. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I moved it. I moved it to over here. Out of the way. I don't care what he tells you. I did not just sit here and eat three packages of M&M's. But he's... Buddy, what are you whining for? I need a tune, babe. Means I need you. I tune to his guitar because my tuner has no battery. Am I in tune? He's giving me a thumbs up, but I know it doesn't sound good. Oh, that's better. All right. Buddy sounds like a flute. <laughs> That's one way I've never described him before. And he's he does have like a siren sound when he's displeased. Like, ah! And that's a quote. wait for him. <laughs> we'll be ready in a minute. Me and E. <laughs> Buddy, you have to be quiet. Okay, A. Okay, 
it, they eat it. You quit Pestroom Body and don't eat any more M&Ms. We've got this problem. We want some M&Ms. And he can't have any. No M&Ms for him. No M&Ms for him. He can sniff and he's like, I know y'all got candy. I ate all mine. You ready to play some songs? Um, where am I going? I think I put mine in four score. Let's go see. All right, the first song is Morning Serenade, which is one I wrote on my whistle. You ready? <laughs> you ready? It's in four. Oh, it's in two. It's in two. So one, one, two. Oh, one, two, three. <laughs> Lay down. And I forgot to tell you the story behind this song. Uh, you may have heard it before in case someone hasn't. Um, it's called Morning Serenade and it's about the birds singing in the morning. I wrote this in January of 2014. And during that time, we had just experienced three days in a row with temperatures below zero. Below zero, like minus seven, minus 13. And the wind chills those three days were minus 25 and minus 35 at night. And on the fourth day, on January 11th, on the fourth day at 10 a.m., I wrote this down. The temperature on my porch was 35 degrees. And the birds outside were just singing their little hearts out. Because it was like, it went from minus 35 to 35 degrees and they thought spring was here and they were ready but he's getting a blanket as long as you don't eat any more candy all right now let's do it again so this is the bird singing let's play it two times <laughs> how that works. This is haste and off. All right. I'm 
I'm using my new four score music program. So far, so good. <laughs> I've learned. So I've learned how I loaded a PDF program. I've learned how to take my documents and my photos and turn them into PDFs. I've also learned how to just scan and make my own PDFs. Um, I've learned how to use Dropbox for my music. And then I've learned how to um, share that to Fourscore and organize all my music in there. I have not deleted my other music files off of my iPad because I don't trust the other program yet. I have so much in here that if I lost it all, I would just have to cry for like three weeks. <laughs> yeah. So eventually I'll be deleting the other stuff, but not just yet. One, two, ready, and... Thank you. 
That was Rakes of Mallow, followed by Fields of Ely, which I wrote specifically to go with that other song. And uh, Fields of Ely. Now, it's had several names. It's a polka. It's had several names before. I think this is its fourth name, and it's the one we're going to stick with. Oh, the, so the first one's Rakes of Mallow, and then the one I wrote is called Fields of Ely. So, for those of you who don't know, Ely, Missouri is where the family farm is and where Doug lived. West Ely, East Ely, what? North Ely. Well, which? <laughs> I'm Ely. confused, obviously. North of Ely. North of Ely. There we go. <laughs> Oh, at the very beginning, Lily said hello, Doug. Hello. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, Lily, I forgot. <clears throat> All right. And this is Sailor's Hornpipe. I'm just going to do one and one. All righty. Does that work for you? Okay. Sailor's Hornpipe and Drowsy Maggie. Coming right up. The Popeye song. A one, two, three. <laughs> one the corn crib reel which is our theme song and usually we start with that one which we didn't do this evening Thank you. 
Original called Blackberry Wine. I am a home brewer, so I have been known to uh, brew some beer, and I have been known to brew a lot of wine. I love wine; is my specialty. Um, my favorite wines I've ever made are my Blackberry wine. But then I'd have to say the persimmon wine, wouldn't you? I, I like to make dandelion wine. What's your favorite? He's more of a beer guy. He doesn't really like a lot of wine. <laughs> I'm whining up for both of us. <laughs> I don't whine. Do not. Thank you, CM family. Thank you so much. You said we're awesome. Uh, so blackberry wine. Here it goes, buddy. You lay down. You lay. Get back over there. Lay down. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> in a wad. There you go. Is that better? Is that better? Try it. And the butterfly is the next uh well he's getting some more coffee so I better at least just drink some of my coffee. We love that thermos. I heard you filling your thermos. Oh my goodness. Someone asked Lily if she wanted to sell Pippi, and she said, no way. No way. Oh, and Schaefer is here. Hello. Thanks for being here. <clears throat> Desert and oh, uh, Steve and Oki are eating dinner while we watch. Thank you so much. Oh, CM Family says you have my girls dancing. <laughs> it's definitely feel good and dance music. Absolutely. If this dog ever, can you see him? If he ever gets comfortable in his blanket, I'll be able to play much better. All right, let's do some butterfly. Lay down, buddy. Lay down. One in three. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
I really, really like that one. All right. And this is another original about a morning stroll. Are your morning strolls that happy? Mine are not always that cheerful. At least not in the beginning. <laughs> a one, two, three, four. tree one of my originals i spent the whole year of 2022 <laughs> writing fiddle tunes mandolin tunes whistle tunes and native american flute tunes now in 2014 i also wrote native american flute songs and i have like 75 of them that i'm going to be recording and releasing over the next two years, I have a lot of music I'm going to be releasing, and I'm excited. I'm very excited about it. All right, so this is The Shade Tree. A one, two, three, four. <laughs>
All right, Woodchopper's Real. This is a song I've played for like 15 years. And for some reason, the last two weeks, I've been getting a blank spot right in a certain spot. So this may or may not stay on the list, depending on how it goes tonight, tomorrow night. We are playing for a private party um, Saturday night. And uh, we're playing all original music and a little bit of Celtic music because they they really love the Celtic music. So now I I am Scottish and Irish and I have written some Irish jigs and um, I think I've written three Irish jigs, maybe four. I wrote them on my Irish whistle, which is what I was playing at the very beginning. And then I've transferred them over to the mandolin and the fiddle, just depending on what I'm playing at the time. What's in my hand and what I'm in the mood for, right? You're slacking over there. You doing on a coffee break? <laughs> oh, one, two, three. here which is the perfect song coming up it's called time is moving on one of our originals oh one two three four <laughs> Thank you. 
A. I think it's my D. No, it's that one. That one. Then my D. One string in tune. What's the next one coming? Oh, Dancing Waters. Yes. Um, do I have this? I have this written out for a mandolin and fiddle. Okay. So for anybody new here, um, I'm a fiddler, usually. Um, I play the mandolin as well. The Irish whistle, I play the tenor banjo. I play guitar. Doug plays all of those instruments as well, except the Irish whistle. Are you going to learn the Irish whistle? <laughs> uh -uh, he says. <laughs> uh -uh. That's a technical musical term. Uh -uh. <laughs> Dancing water. So this is a jig. This is a jig that I wrote. Oh, so it's in two. Da -da 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 One, two, ready, and... <laughs> playing for what a year or two when we met um i've played since i was like four um not the mandolin or the fiddle but i learned uh the kazoo was my first instrument i had come from a musical family and as in they a band and they played together um then i learned to play the spoons my grandpa taught me how to play the spoons and then i learned to play the piano and then i learned to play the guitar and then everything else just happened <laughs> <laughs> everything else just happened we met at a bluegrass festival we became friends we played music together for a couple of years and then we dated for a year and then we were engaged for three years three years yeah he took his sweet time and then <laughs> he decided okay let's get married let's do it and uh we got married so yeah We've been playing music together ever since we met. That's how we met. What's the next one? Willa Fjord. Not one of ours. One of our favorites. One, two, three. Thank you. 
playing music at, we're playing as Ava Potterfield and Friends, which is the name of us as a group. We also have a, a drummer. His name is John Hall. Um, uh, oh, what I was going to say is I'll, I'll be also, rewind. I will also be playing, <laughs> singing. I'll be singing my original songs that I've written. Not all of them, because we won't have time to sing everything and write, play everything that we've written. But uh, we're going to give it our best shot to get as many in there as we can. <laughs> but I'm not prepared to put those on the YouTube channel just yet. Um, I got a few loose ends to get put together first um, so that um, my music is safe. Um, yeah. Yeah. We'll just leave that there. Okay, so this is Seize the Day. <laughs> this is also one of our originals. Oh. I start on the right string and that'll be good. Oh, one, two, three, four. see here very nice i i hollered hello to you when i was playing music but here's an official hello <laughs> thanks for being here let's see here all right we're good there oh oh my are you gonna be kind to me and not go lightning speed i don't think i can go fiddle speed on this mandolin for that team You love me? Be kind. <laughs> I didn't get a yes on that. Hmm. Hmm. What does this mean? I think he's going to rush me and make me play super duper fast. I'm going to go this way. I don't even remember how it goes going that slow. A oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
list because I don't remember playing New Rig Ship or riding on a load of hay. I thought I had all the music in this. We're playing from our set list for Saturday night. So I need to make sure that music is in there. Is it over here? Huh. No, I just didn't get it. Well, what do you think of that? Let's try that one. It'll either work or it won't. <laughs> How long has it been since we played this one? It's called Jackson Stomp. Oh, Lily says we removed three roses from my rose garden so Pippi would have more yard. I think she needs it. Yes, I think she needs some play area. Absolutely. We hear you, D. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. We'll see after a year what we can remember. A one, two, three, four. phone let's see i can't remember i i'm i'm impressed we remember that um cm says he is so quiet but he smiled when i asked if he loved me so that was a yes yes he uh so he came home he came home from work one day and i met him at the door and i'm like will you do youtube with me <laughs> and he said only if i don't have to talk and i'm like okay <laughs> So, yep, he's the quiet one. I'm not so quiet. I don't know if you noticed. Yeah, and, you know, and I have I have these cowlicks, and sometimes you see them, and sometimes you don't. Tonight, they're kind of like out there. <laughs> oh, it's part of my personality. You gotta. I have two cowlicks actually. I got one on this side and one on that side, and I got one back here too. Yeah. So when you see me in the morning, it's like, ah. so that you remember, those of you who remember the morning hair pictures for Gina, that was real. That was not a dramatization where I got up and did my hair for a good hair picture for morning hair. That really was my, wasn't it? That really was my, that's what he gets to wake up to every single day. He's so lucky. <laughs> Oh, he's getting more coffee. I haven't even finished all mine yet. So we made it through those. Um, I wrote out Sir Randall in the key of D. You want to try that in the new key? 
Um, I Oh, here's Riding on a Load of Hay. I just had it in the wrong spot, I guess. There's Wandering Traveler. Oh, you want to try Wandering Traveler? Well, we can play it after we try that one. Sir Randall. I don't know if I have it in here. Would you not do that? Go away. I don't need to see that. Ah. The thing is doing stuff. What am I looking for? It's over in the other thing. Well, I can find it real quick. It's no big deal. Let me just get over here. Come over here. Get out of there. <laughs> I say no big deal. Let's see if I can navigate myself back to where I want to be. All scores. There we go. It just takes me a minute. This is a new program for me. I don't claim to know my way around it perfectly. And it's a good thing because I don't. Okay, so I transferred this. Transcribed it out of C. He does not like to play the key of C. I don't blame him. Um, so this is in the key of D. So it's a little higher. So it's going to sound like this. Instead of, instead of down there. Okay, let's try. It. A one, two, three, to four. right on the in a river town right on the mississippi river and so there's barges going through the mississippi river is a working river and so there's barges there's the big boats pushing the barges and then there's tugboats that move the barges around and sir randall is a local to us tugboat that um what do you call it when they stay down at the riverfront um, a docks. He docks at our riverfront every night. So this is Sir Randall. It's a song about him. Here we go. What? This is the second time through. Ready? And. <laughs> wandering traveler just because i don't even know that we've even played that together mm -hmm. ever and it's on our set list for tomorrow saturday maybe we should try it we're good but we might not be that good <laughs> we don't think we're good we're just two people having fun wherever we go if they let us play music we play music and we have so much fun doing so um okay so now i need back over here in this folder and there it is i found my way back to where i wanted to be uh hold on let's get you back where you want to be because i know you want to be there <laughs> I knew I was going to be looking at that look. I just knew it. Oh. Well, apparently I don't see it. Okay, we'll practice on our own time. Um, so that puts us there. You want to do that one? 
I don't have any of those in here yet because I didn't know if we were going to put more originals in or not. So let me get over here, out of here, and here. Ah! Oh, sorry. I'm still at that point where I swoop and holler when I do something right in this system. All right. This is possum on a gum stump. You heard me right. Possum on a gum stump. A one, two, three. set right here by the time I sing and we're only playing things once or twice right here so I think our set is good I think we're good y'all helped us make that decision so thank you very much you want to do that one of course I do what kind of question is that <laughs> that was Doug throwing his voice over here Let's see. One more. Uh, oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, one, two, three. There he is. We appreciate that. And thank you for all the emojis. Fairy Dust says, was listening while serving me a beverage. Doug, the silent type. <laughs> you want to play a little more or are you tuckered out? You, it's up to you. You just let me know. Go for it. Okay. That's a go. <laughs> we I know his looks, but I wasn't looking at him, so uh that's this one. I think you would like this program. There is a little bit of a learning curve to it. The first part of the curve is the cussing part of the curve where you're trying to figure things out and you can't, and so you holler a little. <laughs> Or that might just be me. I don't know. The second part is when part of the time you remember how to do something and so you celebrate it and then the next time you can't remember what you did. Yeah. And I'm at that part where most of the time I remember what to do now. Yeah. 
<laughs> Woohoo! Ramblin' Rocketeer! Hello! Thanks for being here. Oh, one, two, ready, and. Well, I dropped my pick if it did. Ah. <laughs> Y'all ever get the pecan cramp going on? <laughs> wow. Wow. And the chihuahua dog around your neck? Seems to be happening. <laughs> what about now? You want to keep going? What kind of face is that? You don't make a face like that in music. How rude. <laughs> well, that's hard to play on the mandolin. <laughs> Sorry, it's just our silent discussion going on.
what you were hearing would you have fun i think that's some fun music and over a third of it is our originals first time ever although we did debut our our we have to give a shout out to mike at the cheese house because he let us debut our two cds remember Out there in the beer garden. Yeah. So this won't be the first time we've debuted it. <laughs> but it'll be the first official we're ready to do something with it debut. Because, um, yeah, I haven't talked about my hand injury for a while. but So I wrote all of these songs um, that I'm singing in 2012, 2013, 2014. And we recorded some CDs. No, they were for copyright purposes. They were not like professionally recorded or anything. Um, of course, family got some. <laughs> but, um, and then we did that. Uh, we did a little launch party there at the Cheese House here in Hannibal, Missouri. And um, then I broke my hand and I wasn't able to play guitar for over a year. I wasn't able to play my violin for over a year. I couldn't play the mandolin for over a year. Um, the only thing I was able to play, I have a tenor guitar and it does two finger chords and some one finger chords. <laughs> so I was able to do that. And when the band would perform, I would, they would let me come with my guitar, my little tenor guitar, and I'd be playing these one finger chords. But by golly, I was there and I was having fun. <laughs> But it put like a two-year hold on everything, maybe three. And then the uh, C word happened and there was shut down. And But, you know, that uh, I spent that whole time writing more music. So we actually have hundreds. Somebody asked me that just yesterday. How many originals do you have? And I'm sure they thought I was kidding. But we have hundreds of them because the collection includes all of the things we did that led up to 2014 and those recordings and all of that writing and all of those vocals, plus everything I wrote in between, plus everything I wrote in 21 and 22. And I, I came up with two new piece, new songs to sing um, this, uh, this week, their works in progress. And uh, you know what? We can't do it all at the same time. We got to follow these processes and musician injuries. Oh, heavens no. Let's just say, how many years ago was that? Was that five years ago? When you're 50, I'm 56 right now. When you're 50, you may or may not have any business swinging from a rope in a tree <laughs> over a dam to the water below because you see a group of 20-somethings and college kids out there living it up and hooping and hollering and splashing. So, so what actually happened, I was up there and there was a dam and there was a waterfall and you swung out. From up here, you climbed up the hill to get there, and then you swung out over the ground, then to the dam, and then the rocks below the waterfall, and then you let go when you got way over there, over the water. So you had to hang on pretty good. You had to hang on. Well, I'm short. I don't know if you can tell by looking at me on YouTube. <laughs> I'm not six foot tall. <laughs> I'm more like 5'1". <laughs> 
taller than that. Thank you very much. But I'm short. So when I got up there, I couldn't reach the rope swing. So I wasn't even thinking. This guy pulled the branch down and he handed me the, it was like this metal triangle thing that you hung on to. And he pulled it down. Are you seeing this? So the tree branch comes down. You know what's getting ready to happen. I didn't even think about it. I was just like, oh my gosh, all these people are looking at me. I got to do this. And when he let go with that, it slingshotted me. So I didn't just get to swing out like everybody else did in joyful glee. I got slingshotted out. And when I did, the triangle flipped and my hands all slid down in this corner and my hand got stuck down in there. That's this hand. And this is the hand that I broke right here. I broke this hand and injured a lot of tendons in that hand. And I knew it was broke when it happened, but I hung on because I'm like, if I fall on these rocks, that's not good. So I held on until I saw water under me and I let go and the water was deep. It was over my head. So I sank in the water and I'm just like, Oh, so I just stayed down there for a minute. I wasn't drowning or anything. I was just like, Oh my gosh, when I go up, I have to swim to the shore and my hands broke. So I slowly come up. I'm like, they're going to think I'm drowning if I don't come up. So I came up. I'm a good swimmer. I came up and swam, dog paddled to the shore. And I just sat there. And I'm just trying to act like nothing happened. <laughs> he comes over and he's like, are you okay? And I'm like, don't touch me. No, I'm not okay. Don't touch me. Don't talk to me. I'm going to sit here till I can move. And then I'm going to go walk around the corner. And then I'm going to cry like a baby. <laughs> so I sat there acting all tough. And then when I knew I could get up and not pass out from the pain. I got up. I'm still like, don't touch me. We walked. We waded through the water. <laughs> we got around the corner. And I did. I sat down and I bawled. And I showed them my hand and they were like, oh, yeah, yeah. So I broke this finger in two places and I pretty much took the tip of my finger off inside. And it, I don't know if you can see how crooked it is. It didn't even heal straight. And then I heard it here and then I heard it down in here. And so my resting hand, if you can see the difference in my thumbs, this hand, this thumb rests up here and this thumb, that's where it rests now. It rests way down here it, and it can go way down, <laughs> but yeah, so I had some tendon damage in there. So that had to heal. Yeah. So no more tree swings for me. And he's like, was it worth it? I was like, no, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> Cause he's like, you know, you shouldn't be doing this right. You know, not to do this right. And I'm like, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> do I ever say that to you? Yeah, I'm stubborn. I'm like, I can if I want to. I can do it. And so that's all he said. Was it worth it? <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, two years out of playing music for me over three seconds on a rope swing. Yeah. <laughs> So not my best moment. Not, and I'm still stubborn too. Go figure. I don't know. I think that's just how I'm made. <laughs> I'm a little stubborn. I'm a little stubborn. All right, y'all. We're going to let you go. Thank you so much for being here. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Ava does her own stunts like Tom Cruise. <laughs> he breaks an ankle but finishes the scene. <laughs> I did. I Now, I'm a swimmer. I grew up swimming. That's one of the things that, that I did. So I can hold my breath. When I say I stayed under the water, I was holding my breath, staying under the water until I felt like coming up. And I can hold my water, my, my breath for a very long time. I still can. 
And so, yeah, I literally thought to myself, I better come up before they dive in to save me because they're going to think I'm drowning and I'm not. So that was the only reason I came up when I did because I could have stayed down there longer. <laughs> but I could hear them, where is she? <laughs> so I'm like, just come on up. I don't need somebody diving in to save me and grabbing me by my broken hand and pulling me up. Oh, wouldn't that have hurt bad? Oh, that, I hadn't even thought about that. That just about makes me cry thinking about it. Wow. Good thing I came up when I did. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> have a great night. And thank you so much for your compliments and for being so appreciative of our music. And it makes us happy to share our music with you. And anytime we are invited to play some music, we just whip them right out and do it because it makes us happy to get to do it. <laughs> So thank you again for being here. We love each and every one of you. We really appreciate you taking the time out of your evening to be here and um, participating in our chat. And I'm looking for my bye-bye song right now. There it is. All right. So always remember how awesome you are. I think I just made a spit bubble. Sorry, y'all. Remember how awesome you are, that you are an amazing individual. And... If you happen to be struggling, you can get through. We can do hard things when we have to, and we can get through. So if you're struggling, just remember that. We can get through. If you know someone who's struggling, remind them that they can do hard things when they have to. We've all struggled, and there will be more days, I'm sure, when we're going to struggle some more. Um, but never give up. That's the key. Never give up. You are a blessing to those around you. So thanks again for being here. We appreciate you so much. Have a wonderful rest of the night.